Welcome back to the Starletter I-League Invitational Season 4. We are ready for our last lower bracket match. There you go. Lower bracket match of Group A for today. Don't worry, we have another series coming after that for Group B. But we're going to see LGD versus Complexity. That's right. We're going back to the match that it all started with on Thursday. It was not really a happy ending for Complexity, but perhaps they can do better this time. I have with me OD Pixel as well as Fog. Gentlemen, welcome. It is I our duty to tell the people at home what happened, why these teams are here, and what's going to happen, or what do we think is going to happen in this next series to see who is going to play against Newbie tomorrow. Because that's when what's going to happen. The winner of this will face Newbie in the semifinals, and they will get some points, they'll get some money. It's all great. We but might have a similar repeat of Thursday, I feel like, right? Well, I hope not for complexity. <laughs> hope not for complexity. They they seem confident. We were walking by them. And Kyle's like, we but, got I mean, this. They, they, we got a strat, but they always they feel always like that. Seem confident. Kyle's always <laughs> very confident. Very, very confident, guys. Yeah. I've never seen complexity at LAN where they're like, we're going to lose. Never. <laughs> I mean, Kyle especially, as you said. This man is one of the most confident guys in, uh, in Dota 2. So he is uh, going to be going into this matchup as strong as he would have been going into it the other day when they had this, uh, this tip to go up against LGD. The fact that they lost then, that's not going to have knocked them off course at all. You no. can expect Complexity to come in with all guns blazing. Damn. There's a I lot think, of Swindles oh, fans. Oh, there we Radic go. No, 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 no. We have, uh, sorry, the Chinese have Ferrari on the panel. Oh, hi. That's Ferrari, right? Yep. He has just a bit of longer hair, so like you see wow. him over there, that's him. And that is, of course, a star uh, player. And apparently now also a star analyst, so the, the crowd went a little bit crazy for that. They might also be slightly biased for LGD. A uh, little heads up. They don't they, they don't no, care. No, 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 no. Swindles, as I said, 80% of his fan base is Chinese. <laughs> That's a lot. You know, all eight of them. You know, the two in NA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the case. No, no especially not after the, the beatdown we saw on Thursday. No. LGD has been on a pretty big win streak. Yeah. They won like seven of their seven out of eight of the last yeah. matches they played, or eight out of nine actually, because then they played Liquid and they hit that brick wall. But they were looking really strong. People are having a lot of confidence in this yeah. lineup with FY back on that support role. We can take a look at the brackets and see exactly how these two teams came to be here in the lower bracket finals. As already mentioned, it was Team Liquid that made it through to the playoffs already. They were able to beat LGD. They too owed Infamous 2 at LGD. They, they made it look easy. You know, it's Team Liquid as the TI champions. Uh, nothing much to say <laughs> about that other than, you know, good job making it through there. Could we have a full 2-0 bracket? On group uh, A? Group A would be a unique <laughs> case if that's... Yeah, we it could. Looks, I mean, we could, right? LGD um, could potentially 2-0, and then Liquid have shown that they Are you saying that LGD. complexity couldn't potentially 2-0, Fog? No, you know, my, my heart wants them to, but my brain and... Oh, the NA bias. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I got to say, though, that first game that Complexity played against LGD on Thursday, that one was an absolute stomp, not going to sugarcoat it. But we also agreed that that was Complexity making a lot of mistakes and a yeah. lot of tiny mistakes that were very uncharacteristic for Complexity. So I kind of feel like, you know, they come off these wins this morning against Infamous. We're going to see a different Complexity than we saw last Thursday. They did make a good amount of mistakes versus Infamous too, though. Especially in that second sure. game, there were some a bit of some blunders. Some it was some closer deaths. than it could have been. Yeah, so I think they have to play like really precise Dota versus LGD. But they can. We've seen them do it, Owen. I, they can, but I, I'm not going to agree with one. I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a little worried for complexity okay, in this series okay. because I think, yeah, LGD, well, they, they lost two games to Liquid. Oh, wow, you know, LGD worst team in the world. Absolutely not. You know, it's Liquid, as you say. These guys, pretty damn good. So I think I'm worried for complexity, but I hope they do something crazy. I hope they do something different. Yeah, agree. You know, it's something, as you say, they've already had two games where they've had two chances to try out strats against LGD. They've already found two ways to lose, so let's hope they don't find four ways to lose by the end of this against LGD, you know? Yeah. They have some experience against this team. I like how you said that. I think they do need to change it up. I think they need to just catch LGD a bit off guard, because I think if they just take the natural approach, LGD is overall a better team, more consistent team. They have much better teamwork. Yeah. So I think Cole has to pretty much like get their get their ball rolling that early moment, like we've said before. When they get that group up going at like the five to ten minute mark, they take a bunch of towers, yeah. and then they have an advantage, that, that's when they play the best. Yeah, but that's also exactly when went wrong against LGD on uh, Thursday. because but they, they did split up. But yeah, but they did yeah. group up at some point. I guess it was not as much of a group up as it could have been, but they did group up and it just, it just fell apart because it seemed like LGD was expecting them to play that way. So if you're wanting them to change it up, 
then change they up the hero. Do that. Change up the heroes. Oh, right. Not the not the not so the much strategy. of play style because the, the strategy. We've seen Cole. We've seen Kyle. We've seen Kyle and, and uh, Z Freak. They've been playing together for a very long time. All the teams, all the iterations, have had a very similar strategy. It's like between that five and twelve minute mark, they try to claim those three tier ones. Yes. but it's very predictable. Wouldn't you want to change that up? Or is that going like they? they it's can't been too do many years. They've yeah. been doing it for, it's been right, like two right, years right. of them doing that consistent thing, right? That's true. So t let's talk about LGD because you just mentioned complexity. You know, they've been together for a very long time. They've been together for for ages. LGD, not that much. They've actually this iteration is is uh, it's now a month old because we're in February now. So it's uh, the start of the year. That was when they put Ami back on the core. Uh, so they've not been together for that long, Owen. But they have been such have been having such great results. Yeah, I mean, as, as you say, Ami and, and sort of having these players that we're we're not too familiar with, like X Nova. I think he's been yeah. doing a solid job. I mean, granted, he's been playing. I think Witch Doctor most of the time, but <laughs> yeah. it's, been a bit, it's been a good Witch Doctor, yeah. you know what I mean? These sort of position fives, and it seems to be complemented quite well, of course, the veteran himself, FY. FY has been sort of back on top form recently, his Night Stalkers, Bounty Hunters, the way he moves around the map. It's always been pretty great. I yeah. mean, you know, it's, this guy's beautiful inside and outside of the game, and it's, 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 not, <laughs> it's not falling off at all. <laughs> Jesus, Owen. That's no, FY. Are you, you know, you, you're going to argue against that? No, I'm not. Look that's, at that's, that. that's a fair point. That's Look a fair how close point. I am. It's and it's, it is good. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing him back on that four roll, yeah, it's very belongs. Yeah, I, when he was playing the three roll, he was very suicidal. The four roll, he just he just says, look, he's like he's back in his element. Yeah, it's a fish in water. Yeah, it looked a little bit like fish in dry land uh, before. Oh, yep. talking about fish. Are you? Oh, you said vision. I heard fishing, and then I, I got no, really I said excited. For the you said fish in water. You did say okay, good, because I want to see <laughs> Fy on the pudge. He used to do that, didn't he? Oh, you mean hook? Oh, you mean that's okay. Oh, yeah. You was running a fishing pudge. I was thinking yeah, slaughter or some shit. Like. Fy, he used to do that, didn't he? I swear we've seen some Fy pudge in the past. And we all my dreaming. Dude, they nerfed pudge again though. They Twenty did. percent. <laughs> slow, slow, actually, we're not seeing pudge. They got while, nerfed by twelve percent. That's pretty bad. Pudge, no. Ah. He still is good when you have level four. Rock. When you have level, it's better at level four. That's well, true. Two percent. Woo, but you're not. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see that. No, I'm I don't sorry. think so. I think we'll probably just see oh, him yeah. play, like you said, his mm. bounty, maybe even the Rubik in the first two, yeah. or the Elder Titan, because that's the one that he's been very dominant on. Yeah. Um, I do want to talk about their losses that they had against Liquid, though, because one of them was especially crushing. They were having this game against Liquid, and it was going great. They were winning the fights and all that, and then somewhere in the distance, there's this bear. Lone Druid Bear, they couldn't deal with the split push. That seemed to be like a real issue for them. They they were winning fights, but they were losing towers, losing their base, and yeah. then ending up losing the game there as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this sweater. It's a rainbow sweater. I saw I was you listening know? to maybe be very active in the uh, talent room. He was being he was messing with his teammates a bunch, one of them fell asleep. He kept slapping him in the face and waking him up. Hey, what? He was he like he walked over and he kept like giving not like a slap oh. like a little tap on the head and stuff. Oh my goodness. He was man. very loud, typical maybe being very vocal yeah. with his teammates. It was maybe yeah, uh, very pumped up for this series and ready to go. Yeah. Unlike complexity, they didn't have to get up early to play a series already. Yeah. So they this is their first match, they're fresh, they're ready. Yep. Cole is a little bit more Probably a little bit more uh, like awake though in play because they were upstairs and I walked by their room and I saw Kyle doing like his replay analysis. He's very into it. He's yeah. very looking at all the replays while the rest of his team were all kind of just doing their own thing. He's he's just like yelling at them a little bit yeah. and they're all just like Kyle, can we please stop doing this right now? <laughs> so they well, have probably maybe, prepared a lot. Maybe that's the difference that they need. You know, the little edge that they that they need to beat LGD. Maybe they. I mean, they do oh. need this. Oh. Woo! There he is. It's just a shot of Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd here loves it. I mean, yeah. Look at the man. God. I mean, look at the man. Chef Josh. Now I'm like manager Josh, isn't it? So it is this, is this is not oh, no, just no, no, Chef no. Josh. Chef Josh. Manager, manager Josh, Josh. Coach Josh. No, they've, coach gotten, Josh. they've gotten a new chef. He is oh. no longer the chef okay, for the team But he anymore. is still the coach. He's still a chef in our hearts. It's, he's yes. still the name is Chef Josh. He's in not Josh. And I think in the dreams that I have, he's a chef, okay. You know. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I think for all the girls out there, and probably also for a lot of guys, you know, that's a good quality to have. Yeah. Nobody will forget that he was Chef, chef no, Josh No, definitely ever, not. So. Absolutely not. Yeah, we got uh, a lot of love here in the, the Chinese <laughs> fans as well. Now we've got Limp, the mid player. Yep. Limp always I, does pretty well in his like 1v1 matchups, I do sure. feel. It's it's in like the mid game where they all, they start to crumble. He's, versus he's, these better he's teams. like top yeah. five EU on the leaderboards. He's always yeah. very high up there in the and sort of just the, yeah. the, the solo queue scale. Yeah, he got the when there was the MMR system. He got that nine k yeah. quite early. Yeah. He was yeah, one yeah, of the earliest one. ones to get it. Same thing with Chessie. Yeah, he also got nine k at a quite early moment. The two brothers. Yeah, Chessie's been uh, yeah definitely impressing me recently with his uh, his core performance. How about Kyle? 
I actually felt like when oh when, ooh, Jesus as soon as I said his and name he, he gave us a stare. Didn't quite get the same reaction <laughs> as Josh. <laughs> definitely uh, not. He he definitely didn't get the same reaction as Josh. Come on. Good um, up, when they Kyle. first announced like you know when he did his name change and they were doing call, Kyle was actually on fire in most of the games. He was like crushing it. Lately I do feel like oh. he's not been playing as great as he was. <laughs> but Zach, <laughs> oh yeah, freak. that guy's good. This we, guy is everybody this guy's loves awesome. a bit of Zach. Yeah, yeah. this guy's awesome. I mean, well, who? I loved that what triple kill on the Rubik earlier. You know, this man is this the most humble guy in Dota 2? Oh, no, GH, uh, GH, right? GH. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's, there's quite, there's quite a few. To be there fair, is. Dota players are pretty humble. Well, actually, okay. Oh, no. the, okay. the non-NA Dota players are humble. A uh, if we four position. This is also an NA guy. Oh, that's true. Actually, I would say support players in general. We'll take him. We call it Zach's a resident EU. He's just we'll take he's him. a he's just a very quiet guy. He yeah, is a yeah, pretty no. quiet guy. Unless you get unless you know him. If yeah. you know him and you talk to him, which I do, I knew I know the oh, so he's I know not, the brothers. Oh, okay. So it's just, he is it's a little bit fake, more talkative. It's a fake humble. Yeah, it's a facade. All right, this is good to know. <laughs> so we'll still go for GH as the most humble guy. He still he know. doesn't brag, but he is he talks a lot more. Sure. He is a little more vocal sure. when you get one on one with him. Sure. Complexity looking uh, looking about ready to draft and speaking of draft. We well, first of all, we, here oh. we have it, but that's not what I was going to say. Because uh, I want to I want to know what are we expecting from what? this? Because the bounty ban because of FY. Sure, sure. Yeah. FY bounty is uh, is Dumb. a scary one. But what else are are we looking to see here? How active are the four positions going to be? Because that's my main question. We've seen Z Freak carry Complexity. We've seen FY carry LGD, although I have to say we've also seen Ame carry on a Sven. That was that, that one game yeah, against that one Complexity. Game. That was crazy. The Battle Fury Sven. Battle but Fury Shadow Blade Sven. That was some, uh, some good stuff. Oh, Owen approved. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The dream. I, like, I don't know. If, I think they'll pick the Sven you know, as very sort of uh, situation dependent. Yeah, Complex do pick stuff with the Summers. If they get like uh, the Lycan, I think, you know, which is a hero that both of these teams are going to be looking towards. Your Lycan, your PL, Gyros are the big ones that sort of scream out to me. And uh, of course the Shadow Fiend. I think Complex when yeah. it gets to the point where the mid lane is still in the pool, they'll probably want to take that away from maybe. LGD's taking out all the lane, the lane disrupting dominators, this Chen, this Enchantress. Just don't want to get caught off guard by anything like this where they can just lose the lanes and then get run over and lose all their towers. I like these. I like this opening from Complexity. I think this is a very nice way to, to end the draft. Yep. It's LGD and LGD likewise. What are they going to open with? So the Rubik. That Z Freak Rubik. Yeah. It's very contested between both teams. Yep. FY, of course, on one side, Z Freak on the other. And I think we're seeing it a lot with the whole sort of uh, putting the team off, uh, taking the Omni Knight seems to be the, the yeah. current meta reason yeah. why Rubik is such highly contested as an opener in the drafts. But we mentioned this one as well, FY's Elder Titan. Yep. Yeah, oh, they hey. picked the Void. I mean, I was looking at the stats this month. Uh, their win rate is over 50% with Void, which Blitz is... <laughs> he's okay. confused no, about Blitz, Blitz doesn't like the hero. I'm not crazy about okay. Safeling Void unless you have something like this. Elder Titan Void, I actually think, is the best because yes. not only do you throw the Spirit in there and you help your, you know, your Bash magical does a little bash. more damage, Magical yep. Bash does a little magical bit more, bash damage with the but your teammates spirit. all throw spells and get buffed and splitter. But I have a question. Splitter. What's the question? Faces Void, sure, there's a lot of good qualities to him. But isn't it also very easy to pick heroes that do well against him? And more importantly, why pick it up so early? Because was he going to get banned? Surely not. Maybe they just want to take the fights, take the fights to Cole with the with these two heroes. That's what that and, would tell me. I mean, and, and as I said, it is one of the more frequently picked core heroes that LGD have been running this month. So yeah. even though Complexity might not think that the hero is amazing, there would have been a chance that they would have banned it out if they'd done their research, which I'm sure Carl has done. And they do, like we said, they, FY loves playing this Elder Titan. He's been really dominant yeah. on it and helped. That's true. The beauty about Elder Titan with Void is one of the things that ET can actually suffer versus like four staffs and stuff like that to pull him away from the splitter. But when you're in Chrono, you can't get pulled out. The only oh. thing that can switch you is like a Shadow Demon Disruption or Avenge Swap. Or a Pudge. Which isn't, or a Pudge. Come on. No, complexity. Owen just really wants the Pudge. I want to see a Pudge. But yeah, you can't get moved, so you will get hit by that splitter inside the Chronosphere. Do you think that uh, Complexity saw how Liquid beat LGD and, and are thinking like, wait a second, we can pick Lone Druid too. Yeah, we can, could we be. can uh, yeah. abuse I the bear that, like, think, like yeah, they definitely. Did. If you feel like you've got a strong Lone Druid player and you, as you say, you've already seen one team suffer with uh, the way that the Lone Druid can play now with the Ags and such late game, definitely go for it. If it you're is confident. mostly, well, I think actually Cole only plays it on Chessy, right? Yeah, it'll be Chessy. Yes. It'll be Chessy yeah, Lone Druid. So I guess it could still go mid Chessy playing it, but they, they can swap around. More like than that. likely, yeah. it will be that safe lane. It depends yeah. on the matchup that they're looking. Yeah, to get. 
It's still yet to see the mid laner of LGD. What bands we've got the brew taken out. Well, look at this. They're Gyro. still banning. Cole's still banning like Gyro and stuff. They're thinking that this is could surprising. be could be this off lane void possibly. A Chalice has so. been playing mostly the tanky off lane, so it's not yeah. necessarily uh, his type of hero. But it, if it, it can be a, hero, be a good hero there too. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. especially if, as you say, you're picking it because you have an Elder Titan, so yeah. it already has that strength. It doesn't necessarily need to be yeah. this carry void. You've you got need the you have the, the bubble, but you reason. don't necessarily need to farm. Yeah. 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 Just need those levels. And what I actually like about Lone Druid, about complexity, probably putting it safe lane is that means that Z-Freak and Kyle are going to have all the space in the world yeah. to rotate because they shouldn't be necessary on the lane of the Lone Druid. Definitely. Right? Yeah, all right. I agree. Omni Knight banned out there as well. Yeah, as we said, you know, Cole having the Rubik stops LGD from getting it, but it certainly doesn't mean that they couldn't have got it themselves. Yeah. So LGD sort of forced to ban that. The last ban for complexity before having this second pick phase. What else have we really seen that LGD have been very strong on? I mean... Uh, another core, so hey. it's still, yeah, uh, still going do double down on the um, Void being the offlaner. As There's another combination yeah, with that Chrono. Absolutely, yeah. and it's, as I said, this is what Xtova's been playing most of Every the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, if Wish Doctor's there, they'll take it. it. They've been doing well with it. I mean, yeah, we've been have. seeing a lot of teams Wish following Doctor's the on trend. The He's on the up. The Malady the up. build is, I mean, it's really, really strong. And with that chrono, like you said, they now have two ways to throw spells into the chrono. Particularly in the games, I think it, I don't think it's really ever picked if the Omni Knight is still a potential threat. But if the Omni Knight is gone, you know, because Maledict is, is it's a crazy good spell. But if there's an Omni Knight with a repel, yeah, it it really does lose a lot of its potential. So, so at the moment, LGD has the upper hand in the fighting for sure. Yes, definitely. Is there a way that complexity can also still? Go for that fighting lineup, well, I mean, or do you think they'll double down on the on the split push? I with think, the as you say, like the split push is already good, so they're yeah, already so. going around it a different way. You know, LGD, as you say, they are going to want to fight as a unit. You know, maybe we see some sort of maybe hero that's going to be able to be elsewhere, whilst you know LGD is sort of creating space for him. They and could still get him to the, be a big core. They could still get him something like the Shadow Fiend. The Shadow Fiend is still there. Yeah. I'm I'm fingers crossed for a maybe Invoker. Especially because okay. they have the void already. I mean, that okay. could. I don't think they'll pick it fourth. That'll probably be some Ooh. kind of like fifth pick. But I, that, I would really like you're it. You're right. I'd, I'd love to. See. Oh, oh, they did it! You did it! They did oh, it! They did the void. The punch. They I actually said picked I wanted it. to see it. Oh. And that's the way you there get them out of the corner. That's the way you get people out of the corner. There you go. You know. I told you. Owen, we were talking about now, fishing. It's, it's not good when comple complexity follow our strats. That is the thing. But they they did it. That's did that's it. the counter. They they got the punch. It's, I mean, it's very good versus Void, yeah. even in laning phase two, because you have like that that consistent damage, and if he jumps, you can always get the hook out instantly to grab him and pull him back in if it is in that off lane. Oh man, Owen. I mean, I don't know if it's that you didn't good, stick but to your I'm, guns, I'm happy but that it's there. I'm happy that that's the way they went to deal with Whew. the Chrono. There's a lot of pressure on this Pudge to do well. And is that? Uh, is that going to be Z Freak playing it? I think oh, yeah, so. But I, I'm sure but you put Rubik. Kyle on the but, Rubik. But and Z, Z Freak plays. Rubik. I guess they'll probably it's, just put I'm, this. Yeah, I think they'll you put want Z Freak on the yeah. 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 There's a troll. All right. So that's they can now buff up the Faceless Void, so he doesn't yeah. need as many items. It gives him a big tower pusher. It gives him Roche potential, and it's very good versus the bear. That evasion always works. Yeah. Very oh, good versus I the would bear. tell you what. I would love to see. I would love to see LGD finish with an offline Magnus. Troll and then mid, troll Void mid? safe lane. Have this Magnus, you've got two cores, you're going to be beefing up. I would imagine Cole would ban that one. You think they might ban the Magnus? I think they might. I, as I'm looking at this, I'm saying if LGD get a Magnus, it, it could be... I think that's really, really good. The team fight could be way too scary, and it gives them ways to stall the game out as well, because then they have ET and Mag spamming waves out yeah. so Void and Troll get super farmed. I think that'd be really scary. But they do have Rubik to steal the RP if Mag comes up, so we'll see, we'll see what they end up prioritizing. True, yeah, you have to be worried. But it, it's probably going to be a Carl Rubik rather than a Z Freak Rubik. Yes. No, no, no offense to Carl. No offense to Carl. <laughs> no offense to Carl, but it's not Z Freak Rubik. No, and uh, we not. want to see Z Freak do that as well. Yeah. It's just fun I to mean, watch. maybe they do put Z Freak on the Rubik's and then Carl on the Pudge. I don't know. But I Z feel like Freak it's more likely to be Z Freak making the movements on the Pudge. It's just I'm excited to, to see. I'm excited I mean, to I'm, yeah. always, I'm always happy when there's Pudge. Everyone's yeah. always happy when there's a Pudge in the game. Well, I, I said, I mean, maybe not if you're a complexity fan, because I don't know how good it is. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I love the hero, but whether it's going to be good. As you say, it got nerfed. It was a pretty heavy nerf. Level yeah. one, you're not that good at running down heroes anymore. You're still good at level two and stuff, though. Sure, okay. sure. Maybe now the Magnus a little less likely? 
with the Tinker yeah. coming up? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's still a, still a chance for LGD. But you, you were talking a lot about how Cole, they may have like looked back at Liquid and trying to take a page. This looks to me like, yeah, avoid fights. They're trying to just go for this split yeah. push, use the march, cut the waves. Don't let LGD get on those towers. But then they have a troll on LGD, so they can take towers real fast. So if yeah. you're not fighting them, your towers will drop like flies. How are you going to... Is Tinker enough for that? Because he needs such a long ramp up time before he is that force that can stop you from pushing. The one, one thing we've said about Troll a lot in the past is he's pretty susceptible to magic burst. Sure, yeah. And that is what Tinker can provide you until Troll, of course, gets that BKB. So Tinker can provide that for you. All right, well, let's see what LGD is afraid of. They don't want to deal with a Bat Rider going for uh, the ban on that. Yeah, More just of a moose here. The split catch kind of thing. The Bat Rider would be pretty good for that, for Cole. Yeah. Unless he does Cole ban out the mag. And the bat's good against the mag. You know, it's this hero that has this really good vision, makes it very hard for you yeah. to find the blink RPs. LGD may be setting up for that offlane Magnus. Could be. It's that, um, or I think they want an Underlord. Hey, because Tide Underlord's Hunter so good is still Tinker. in the pool, by Underlord the way, Underlord well. would definitely be more standard for him. Tide is still in the pool, too. Tide is still in the pool. Also, uh, a hero that Chalice plays a lot. But they ban out the Storm, so At they are they are set on the Void being offlane. Yeah, they Void offlane, Troll so, safe lane. Which they may be right on. We may yeah. be totally wrong. Maybe it's a Void offlane. Give me maybe Invoker, please. <laughs> Off lane, uh, void. I mean, safe lane, troll warlord. Mid, maybe Invoker. Well, what's Moo gonna play? Um, Did he just go for his puck. Or maybe they just say the I hope it's not gonna be a puck. He Moo wasn't really underwhelming when the puck on the on the Thursday. It was uh, and and regardless, pucks this yeah. entire tournament have been kind of like luster. Yeah, they have. I think been. it's a hard hero. Yeah. Not to say the move can't play, but I think yeah, you, you should say at the moment, unless you've got the right team around it, it's hard to make plays with. I mean, but the, the the dream coil and the the roar from the lone druid is pretty good. It's good control to yeah. allow the tinker to just throw the combos. Down. I don't think it's that bad. They're taking their time down low. Yeah. It's a shaker. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's been a long time since we've seen the core shaker, which I imagine it is, unless yeah. it's going to be some sort of move pudge, but it's. Almost certainly going to be the Moo Shaker. I would think Moo Shaker. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen an offlane Shaker. It's been quite a while. I mean, any sort of Shaker. This hero is just not favored at all. Hmm. At least, the, you know what is scary? I like Complexity's high ground defense a lot, but it kind of is banking them on them losing the early game, and that's not. And that's never good. Oh, what Which one is it? Then? Queen oh, of Bay. Come on, maybe. Man, so they were right. I wanted the invoker. So it is the <laughs> offlane void. Yep. The maybe quap. All right. Kay. So. Fogged complexity. You're at the, that's your side right now. I'll punch. What do they need to do to, to win this game? What's important? Oh, it's going to be really. I think this one's going to be really tough for them. I think just avoiding the fights and playing around LGD's cooldowns and All make right. sure this bear gets massive. They really need this bear to go absolutely crazy in the game. Okay, same question for you, Owen, but then uh, from the side of, uh, of uh, LGD. Oh, well, the LGD did you do. I think, yeah. you know, for them, as long as they can make sure that they can start to get the action going, as they hit these void ET combos, they're good, but. I kind of like what Complexity's doing, I'll be honest. All I right. like Tinker's going to be able to screw with the Void. You know, it goes for Crone. If you don't get the Tinker, bam, Lazy can't hit anyone. they got a Pudge. I think one thing for sure. They've got a Shaker against what, like, oh, just wants Pudge to win. They've got, like, what, mean, three melee calls, two melee calls? <laughs> I think one thing for sure, we are going to have a very entertaining game, and even more entertaining are the voices that will bring it to you with Lyrical and Blitz. Thank you so much, Shiva. That was so nice. Oh my goodness, Blitz, it's happening. It's like a pub game. We got a Pudge, we got a Tinker, and they're on the same team. I'm sure there's going to be some all chat. How are you feeling about this one? It was pretty cool to see Complexity play Dota. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't agree with you enough. What, what, it, what about it in particular are you feeling? I'm um, just, just saying, like, it was cool to watch them play this tournament. Yeah. It feels to me like they've sort of uh, at times turned a new leaf over, would you say? There was a couple of moments in that last game where they went back to their roots and just were like, all right, we're going to go down a lane and take a tower. Dude, I don't know, man. NA Dota, like, <laughs> I'm starting to lose some faith. What do you mean? Like, I want to I wanna be the NA. I'm a no There's so many European casters and shit. Yeah. I want to be the North American guy with Grant holding down the fort. But it's like, I need you guys to start winning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to beat more than infamous, you know? All right. I, I need EG to win a LAN. <laughs> Things God need to happen. <laughs> well, they're not going to let me in here. Galaxy Battles, I mean, they didn't win, but uh, Mr. Vandestar Dota might have a thing or two to say about it. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, it's sort of a, a situation. Nobody remembers who got second. Only first. That's fair. 
Um, and that's the thing. <laughs> the smiley face is coming out as well. As China's been winning. Europe's been winning. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is their time. If Complexity win this, like, I'm... Woo! Kyle's going to go off. Yeah, I'm sure. I, if he wins anything, he's, he's a very emotional fella. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a little bit of a rough go of it. I do, you watch the a lot of the games that were going on previously, the mm -hmm. the infamous complexity series. Was there anything that really stuck out to you? As I mean, this looks like a very different type of draft than what we saw earlier today. Yeah, I think uh, I think Cole, this is completely different than what they normally done. Like this is a much more splitty late game s style. Because the downside of complexity is like what they do, they do very well. Or like they do at least like above average, mm -hmm. which is like they they run at you, right? And they take towers and they put this pressure on you, and they take these team fights and it's very hard to play against. But I think LGD were aware of that. They just pick heroes like Paylord and they did the same. They're like, oh well, whenever you run at us, we'll just defend, right? And now they're sort of changing it up. They realized after that last series, things need to change a little bit here. They become way too predictable. Yeah. But against teams that they're better than, they'll just outskill. Like, for example, when uh, Z Freak just had, like, a sick individual performance today. Yeah. Like, he can do stuff like that, but you need more. You need more consistent plays to get through deeper into tournaments. Like, that's what determines, for me anyways, like, a very good team is consistency. Like, yeah, sure, teams like EG can take a series off VP, but, like, you need to be able to do that consistently against the top teams. Fair enough. And LGD, definitely one of those top teams. But they've also not always held things together completely. In this game, um, you know, we've seen, oh, we're actually going to have to go the hook there after the lift. And FY just going to try and TP away the damage. It's not quite enough. So he does get out. LGD, are you feeling like they're sort of in a, a different league right now than Complexity, based upon what you've seen? All right, we'll see. I think this is a very neat draft by Cole. I think uh, they're actually going to do better than I expect here. I'm just like... Dis a disappointed father. You know, I'd like to see <laughs> more out of my kids. I'm with you. Your kids. That's, like, a, that's a good way to put it. Um, right uh, now, you know, all the other kids are trying real hard, and my kids are just eating glue. <laughs> God damn. Oh, well, I, they, they were putting on some good performances. Early. I can feel what you're saying, though, because uh, you definitely you, you see the individual talent that's there on oh, all of, of these players. Yeah, uh -huh. I just need, we, we're going to fulfill, this is where it starts. If Complexity beat a very good LGD squad, uh, I, we had, we talked to Matoma and he said, this, this feels like the second best team in China. Right. LGD, that, that's what Liquid thinks. Uh, I thought VG was personally stronger, uh, but who knows. I mean, that's the thing, too, is there's so much, like, back and forth within the yeah. Chinese scene themselves. It's more about, like, how they deal against the Western teams as well. Yeah. This is a very good LGD squad, so uh, being able to beat them would be feather in the cap. And it all starts with, I think they have a very good support duo. I think FY has been playing absolutely stellar. I like the way that Chalice plays, too. I, I like this import of Southeast Asian players in general. Yeah. I think uh, the two Warriors gaming exports have performed very well for them. Yeah. And I, I think that this is kind of where you take a lot of the talent pool from. It's something that I think would be interesting if more South Americans, for example, played in North America, similar to like what Tomato's doing. Yeah, getting that sort of influx of new talent and yeah. also different ideas about how to play the game. Because yeah, the skill is there in all the regions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ex Nova, when we watched him back on Warriors Gaming, the thing that always stood out to me was his lane support. Um, and just how good he was at being able to zone out offlaners. In this game in particular also, we're seeing that they're doing this sort of dual aggro type of lane against Chessy with the bear. Uh, and so far, it's kind of worked. The Troll Warlord's got way more CS right now than Chessy has been able to. Yeah. And Void's got pretty much free farm. And the reason why Void has free farm is, in this lane, there's no kill potential. And he's very good against Lone Druid uh, because the time dilation makes it so the Lone Druid barely runs. Runs oh. at like zero move speed. Yeah, nice little pick up there. FY able to get the rune before the hook came through to pick it up himself. And still a very passive laning phase to the start of this one. Um, so Void getting free farm, like you said, and all of the other lanes kind of falling behind slightly uh, with Tinker behind the Quap as well. Is this kind of what you were expecting as far as the lane setups was concerned? I think maybe he's doing a little bit better than I expect. This top lane, though, I mean, they just hope to trade farm. 
it's very hard for them to get kills. And Earthshaker can't really lane against Witch Doctor Troll. Like, that lane is way too hard for him. But the lane is going to get pulled into his direction, so he should be able to get some farm here. Downside, too, is that Pudge can't really get kills as he pops the mango, maybe. Oh, afraid you talked about it. Moo in some trouble, but they're bringing in Pudge as well. There's the block off there on the Ame as Kyle's going to look for a hook, but just a little sidestep there coming in. And Ame's such a beast. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's going reset. back in. Yeah, he wants to try to. Uh, well, he finds Kyle. There's the axes. Almost catches Moo, too. He's such an aggressive carry. Yeah. In the Sven game, when he decided to go for the Shadow Blade, like, he completely turns his own game around. Uh, I thought he threw the game for a sec when he gets caught in the jungle, but then he just keeps going around getting kills. Like, this guy does AFK farm quite a bit, but he always pays off with it. And it Very aggressive core. It feels like in some ways you need to have that aggressive core nowadays. It's not enough just to farm. Uh, like, go pick up a Battle Fury on another hero and then don't make stuff happen. Yeah, this era of, like, anti-mage specter stuff uh, has lessened. And now you have the cores that get these, like, one or two items and take these major fights as Limp gets gone on mid. Yeah, just going to throw out that Maledict, force a little bit of a rotation. The TP's canceled, and he's probably going to salve up once the Maledict wears off, right around that six-minute mark. Took a lot of damage right there, but he's got 15 or 11 wand charges too. And X Nova even going to ping the uh, haste rune for maybe. It's a very nice rune for him to pick up. Nice. Is level 6 at the same time. Oh, top lane. They find a sleep on the Z Freak, but a bit of a roar forces them back. And that's something we guess we got to watch out for as well is like any type of rotations that you would make. Or do you think that it's better for somebody to bring come into the Quap unless there's some type of a dive? Or what do you what do you do with this haste? Or do you do anything? Uh, I think you just get a TP, which he has, and just chill. You don't have to force anything. If your team over rotates up at top or they get over rotated on, you can make a play. As X Nova is in position. Z Freak shouldn't see this. I think they just go in for it. Yep, there's going to be the stun. They get the vision, jump forward, find the kill. Chalice drawing first blood. Just under seven minutes in. And the crowd erupts. <laughs> yeah, they really love their players, that's for sure. Oh, that haste rune eventually going to be used now by maybe. Yeah. I don't think when you have these runes, like you don't necessarily have to force anything. Okay. Although, I feel like maybe could have jumped right there. I think he thought about it. He had both combo. Hit full combo up. So talk to me a little bit about the timings of this game. Lone Druid, everybody always talks about like that Radiance getting stuff done. Is there anything we really need to watch out for? Uh, I think Tinker needs a blink as fast as possible. And once he, has, once he has his blink, he'll be in a really sweet spot in this game. It's hard to catch him up. Uh, LGD is going to have to use a lot of their resources shoving out the waves. And for LGD, it's the early Roshan that I'm looking forward to. If they can slow down limp enough, then he can't participate in these Roshan engagements. As at bottom, Ame getting aggressive right now. Well, slowing down a little bit, but again, he is just going to back out after the Fissure. All fine and dandy in the bottom lane. So yeah, I guess that the, the Rosh you're talking about there, um, super important with Troll Warlord being on the other side and uh, well, obviously getting an Aegis on any of these heroes is pretty valuable as FY is going to scout out Z Freak making this move down here. Maybe a chance at a setup for something as they are moving in with Ame. The stomp's going to connect and they do have a lift. Need to be careful about getting lifted up onto the cliff. Z Freak is going to try and go for it there. Gets FY up top. He, he does not have, have a TP, TP actually. And uh, they're nah, going to trade he, it over. He gets pulled. All right. Well, he's going to get out of there eventually. Although he needs to be a little bit careful. Moo could cancel it if they uh, realize that he's going for it. Nah, now he's going for it. Yeah. Well, 2-0 start. Nice little beginning here. And what do you think about this offlane Earthshaker? The panel was talking about we don't see this guy almost at all anymore. There was a time where you could play like four position Shaker, which Liquid did very often. And the reason was because this hero felt so insane, Gabe. It's, you would always get the ability to just one-shot somebody. But they've reduced the damage on the ult a lot. Upside of the hero still exists quite a bit. Like You have a lot of different uh, lockdowns. You get three in one. Mm -hmm. So if you do have issues with disables or guaranteed disables, uh, he's going to be able to do that for you. As at top, Chalice gets hooked, and then 
nothing uh, happens as a result of it. As Chessie gets the three-man Savage Roar, but they're still going to chase this down. There's going to be maybe a decent amount of damage. He needs to try and walk his way out of there, but with the Maledict, it's not happening. Instead, it's another hook, and Kyle, if he's not careful, just going to get Chronoed in the face and now going to the other side so they can block off his path. Another sleep there. The stun is going to come out, and Complexity looking for the deny. It was never going to happen. Double there for X Nova. Yeah, and Mu trying to get out. As Ame, hot in pursuit, almost has phase boots up too. He's going to go for this. Oh man, Mu needing to walk away, and he is going to be fine yet again. Not disable in more than enough. Still, that's a level 9 troll that has been completely untouched, and troll is the anti-offlaner. Always has kill potential, very strong in lane. As now they're going to make the full four-man rotation. <laughs> oh my god, Complexity are just running at this guy. And now the Fissure to block it off. And as soon as the TPs are going to start to come, they need to be careful. Being said, there are other heroes in the area. Yeah, like you said, it's that type of thing where they, they're worried about the Troll Warlord and Bridge bring everybody down to mess with them. Yeah. At the same time, Chalice has had such a good game so far. Looks like he's going Vlad's. Does that mean Troll's going Mask of Madness? I guess, yeah. Maybe he just goes first item Satanic. <laughs> Let's see, FY. Back behind the tower, they see that the spirit is coming to them. They are going to be able to dive this if they want. The fissure comes out. They've got Kyle in the area. The hook, the fear, the right clicks. FY might actually be able to turn this back on to Kyle. They end up finding the kill, maybe with a quick rotation. Yeah, very nice to be able to save that. And that ET is very tanky. And at the same time, they take that top tower. And this is pretty brutal. You're going to have a void with... Something like a 12-minute Vlad's treads. Third so, in net worth overall. He even has more net worth than the Queen of Pain. I mean, at, at this point, it, it feels like Complexity's draft was like, all right, hold out for the late game split push. Were they expecting to have to do it this early and to this extent? Definitely not. And they pick some counter heroes like the Tinker against the Troll and the Void. Uh, they take the Pudge, obviously, so you can hook people out of the Chrono. But the laning phase is so weak as a result of this. And seeing the evidence of that right now with a 4,000 net worth lead at just under 12 minutes. Ooh. This is uh, all coming up LGD right now. And, well, there is going to be some TPs over by the Shrine, maybe a smoke play by the Dyer and a few. Although, what are they really going to do? Well, looks like they're just going to try and farm. That's nah, just getting limp what he can get. And when your Rubik is level three, right before that ended up happening, at 12 minutes in, they just haven't been able to get what they need out of this so far. Yeah, pace-wise, it just feels like complexity is not really matching. Lanes were a little bit too rough. They couldn't really kill any of the three lanes is the problem. Like, when you don't threaten any of the lanes, mm. nobody's afraid of you. Yeah. They couldn't kill top. They definitely oh couldn't God. kill bottom. Mid was a queen of pain against a tinker and a pudge. Like, nothing's happening there. You can see the level is just very heavily into the favor of LGD right now. And honestly, besides that one rotation bottom, this is without the Queen of Paints. Arguably LGD's most strong hero right now that they're getting all this stuff done with. Yeah. Again, it comes down to the fact that none of the three lanes are punished. And Z Freak well, going to get gone on again as well, should die here. Damage there. Chalice, maybe they can find a turnaround. He's just going to be able to time walk it off. And well, it's only got 300 HP, but. Complexity not able to punish. Now he's building towards a Shadow Blade. This game is a disaster right here for Complexity. I mean, is it still a situation where it's as bad as it seems? Do you, like, you know, people always talk about the strength of Tinker holding against pushes. Yeah. The unfortunate thing, though, is sometimes you just get overrun. And we talked about the Roshan. Yeah. When you get an early Vlad's like this, it makes it incredibly easy to do so. Well, troll T pop, they're gonna right click it down. That and is an early Roshan. <laughs> it was 14 minute Rosh. No Ursa in this game, but Troll are doing a good impression of it. Also building towards that Battle Fury, so he's gonna be able to scale into the late game. Yeah. 5k gold lead, 6 and 0, 14 minutes in. LGD doing very well for themselves. They're gonna need this Lone Druid to be very scaled. And now, if you're Cole, you're almost. Forced into going for the 30 plus minute game. 
Would like to note, by the way, that the Void decided to opt for the 8 strength. Yeah? I'd like to uh, let <laughs> OD Pixel know that. You know, I knew this was coming. I knew it was going to happen as soon as I saw Void picked in this. Man, I see Owen. He takes all the damage <laughs> talents on every hero. Doesn't care that he could have like 2,500 health on a hero. Just <sighs> You know what they say. The best defense is a good offense. He's just encapsulating the great minds of strategy throughout the years. I, I love Owen, so he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> just... Maybe we'll take a break from playing for a little yeah, bit we'll with you or I'll something. I'll tank some pubs for him. <laughs> oh, as Ame, going to oh. run into Chessie, break the smoke, and Chessie should get out of here clean. I don't even know if FYA tempts the stun. He does not. Yeah. And he almost has Radiance. That's not bad. You know, you got four heroes down here bottom. It looks really rough. 5,000 net worth lead, but at least Lone Druid sitting top of the net worth. Yeah, eventually you got to go high ground. That's where Cole will hopefully hold forever as they're going to find this stack. Just give it a little stomp. Get a little right click and Ame now going to try and clear through it here. As I believe he's getting closer to that battle fury but shouldn't have it yet. The rest of the heroes can only look on as this stack gets taken. There is a scan and more and more things going into the favor of LGD at this early stage, 16 minutes in. Blink Dagger on Moo in the near future, maybe? Oh god, he's caught. Sleep, the Earth Splitter, it's going through. Chalice has Chrono, this guy is super dead, don't even need it. Yeah, Chalice almost has a Shadow Blade too. They've supported these three cores very well. Yeah. Everyone's self-sufficient at this point. As the fear goes on to Ame, who is here to defend the tower with his Aegis. Should not be afraid of anything at this point. Yeah, I mean, the, the heroes from Complexity, I mean, they've got good burst damage if you can put one or two of them together, but they're needing to do so much work on trying to keep these lanes pushed out as well. Yeah. Right now, they just lack the control, yeah. simply put. They lack the kills too, man. 7-0. and oh. It's not great. 7,000 net worth as lead as well. They have held on to their mid-tier one tower. Moo is sitting here, ready to go for a fissure on the wave. But LGD moving in yet again. And this ET, it's not going to connect with the stomp. And Z-Freak here as well is going to be able to steal one. Chalice going to be pushed back. Scream of Pain is stolen. Moo, level nine, going to be Witch Doctor ulted in the trees. Oh, that feels real bad. And maybe is on a killing spree. Still. Yep. Lead now goes to 8 and 0, 7k up at 17 minutes. This is quite the pace LGD are setting. But we talked about this. There's nobody that Complexity can really kill yeah. at this point. At this phase of the game, in the laning phase, they weren't going to be able to do it. Post laning phase, it doesn't get any easier. You kind of just have to weather the storm if you're Cole and hope that uh, LGD slip up and overextend. Okay. So kills-wise, if LGD keeps on getting all of these kills but they don't take as many objectives, is it okay or...? It's not great. It's not great. Okay. You, you got to take what they give you at this point. Right. And uh, maybe now has a full Orchid, I believe. Uh, he has... He's going for some Shadow reason, Blade? Shadow Blade's queued up. Oh, Rubik got Blink. Got to find the silver linings. Because for LGD, it is looking all good for them. Tinker off to the side. Chalice, if you realize he was over there, could think about something. And actually, it's going to be the Faceless Void going back for the Aghanim Scepter as well. Oh, he's swerving back. Going back for the team fight so he can speed up their game. He wants to catch as much as he can. I like this idea. They Normally, you would lack damage on Void, which is why you go for the Shadow Blade. Mm -hmm. But I think he understands, like, well, I have Troll ulti. And my Troll is very farmed. Well, and honestly, they've got some decent damage, even with, like, the Witch Doctor. If anybody's around him, they can probably do enough to find a kill there. Bottom lane. FY. Oh, oh. God. There were four, three heroes down there. and That would have been their first kill. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Well, you know, you look for half a second, and now it's an 11K lead. Yeah, that's uh, 19 minutes in. It's just been a slow and steady increase. Consistently, LGD yeah. making all the right moves. <laughs> that graph does not have a lot of dips in it. It is, <laughs> that is a smooth, paved road. Yeah. Freshly laid concrete there. 
All right, maybe a chance for a fissure into a hook. Is it really going to amount to anything? They get the hook there. I'm going to yep. go for it. No, the silence. No. It comes out to Chrono 1 and 2. They got him caught. Jesse's here. They might not be able to find these kills, actually. So Complexity saved their buddies just barely. But they... Yeah. Uh, it's a trade of ults. But at the same time, like when you're this far behind, like that's demoralizing. You just want something. Get on the board. I mean, at the same time, they, they were able to get the Blink Dagger for the Shaker. That was Chronosphere used and down. It, it could have been worse. Could it have? <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody died. Yeah. Nobody died. They got Blink on Shaker. If you're Complexity right now, do you even really try and go for a smoke play, or do you wait until Roche is up before you go for something like that? I think you take a tower right now, because okay. you know the spells are off CD. Indeed is what they're going to be doing. Witch Doctor is back behind the tower. The nice part about the Pudge, at least, is that he's pretty good at assisting with a push. You can always hook somebody if they come to defend. In fact, Complexity, with the Blink Dagger done, with Radiance done, Blink is done as well on the Tinker. Maybe a bit of a timing with no kills on the board. Could be a thing. Yeah. Honestly, anything is positive right now for Colas. They set up another combo, but Kyle hooks a creep. A little unfortunate there for them. Yeah, Tower is starting to get a little bit low here, but ET Stomp going to connect on the bear, and it barely survives. Ah, nice. Silver linings. It's barely survived. <laughs> oh, lordy. Well, 8 0 still. While this has all been going on, maybe he's oh, waiting maybe. up to the side. He knew it was Blink away. Very fast. Good play by Limp. Even had a DD rune S Chalice. Trying to find Moo, and he does. Moo's going to hit the stun first, though. Wait, Kyle uses his hook over to the other side, which means that Moo is maybe just going to get chronoed here or just end up being able to find that kill on the Witch Doctor nonetheless. Chalice, they blink out. He gets away. He has the chrono, just not willing to use it quite yet as the troll ult is popped. Looking for a big one there. And now down to the south, they're able to find the Chronos. Chrono is stolen, though, and now turned against their allies. But they're able to get the Fissure, the hook away as well. Chalice gets the time walk off. They weren't able to complete that kill. So everybody living from complexity, and they get on the board. Cole is on the board. Are you a proud father? Yeah, no bagels here. <laughs> they turned that, what was it? Grant said, like, they turned their bagel into a, a bread hot dog. Stick. A breadstick. That's what it was. That zero becomes a one. That was like 2k cold swing. Zero they, to hero. They almost got a kill too on the troll. They were very close to that. So this is showing that Cole can still win fights. I think Chalice was way too cautious right. with his chrono. Like if he just catches the Earthshaker right there, his team can follow up, they get the kill. None of that happens. And now Chessie is not that far behind. In fact, he is ahead of the Queen of Pain. The Tinker is right behind there too. It's 10k gold, which is... Still quite sus substantial, but, I mean, you want to have some hope. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this is, again, with an offlane Earthshaker who has that main item, the Blink Dagger. Yeah, they just need one or two engagements here. It's going to be hard to find, though, because LGD are playing very disciplined. But you're right now, if you're Complexity, you're hoping that they make mistakes as oh. they catch Limp. Very nice kill for them. Yeah, Chrono used there, and, well, that's what's going to happen yeah. if you're not careful. Also, look at the build from Maybe. He's opted to go for the Shadow Blade so that he can solo catch this Tinker and wait in the tree lines. So when he does blink into him, he doesn't have to go through the wave to spot him. Like, he's right. right now just setting Tinker traps whenever he can. Like, he plays around that bottom area. He hides in the trees. He's waiting for uh, Limp to respawn and try to make something happen. Ame, it's over there to the side. Complexity sort of in a position to try and catch them as they head out. But it does look like with X Nova there, the ward down, they're going to have they vision. vision. Kyle, they're thinking about get it. This. Echo Slam trying to go for it. Ame, there's the fissure to start. There's they the hook it as well. Maybe going to be able to combo this together. Ame just says, hell no, turns around and takes him down. And now, oh no, bad to worse, and maybe to terrible. The Echo Slam almost able to take down they that pop. The they won't bring him down, but maybe able to jump away. Another Fissure turn, but it's not enough. Two dead for Complexity. And now the Chrono for the third. Oh no, no, no. Well, that was. I. It felt like for a second they were going to get Ame. 
then Ame's like, well, you're a pudge and you've <laughs> done nothing. I can actually just three-shot you. And thus he did. I mean, it is a 13,000 net worth lead. It was 10 probably around that when that fight took place. You know, at a certain point, you can't. it's hard to overcome that amount of gold. Yeah. Early Roshan's paying dividends here for LGD stockholders as that thing respawned. At 24 minutes, we're already into the second Roche. Yeah. That means around the 35-minute mark, we'll have both. Aether Lens for Tinker, so he can maybe play a little bit uh, more safe if yeah. they're in there. Up top lane, they find the hook. All right, they got Chalice here for the moment. Do they have enough to bring him down? Trying to do it, is it enough? A time walk away. Chalice able to make the escape, and now the cask is going to bounce. Chalice almost down. The chrono comes out. They are going to be able to hit there, but it's not enough for the kill. Maybe in the meantime, kills off Z Freak and Complexity still not able to get more than just one kill on the board. Yeah, they're going to lose this tower. And with the Faceless Void Aghanim Scepter, the cooldown is so short that he does not really care. He's like, oh, whatever. I'll use it. We'll get a kill. If he doesn't have that Ags, Cole would say, well, maybe we can smoke even with the Aegis on the enemy team. We can try to pick something up. But it'll be up so fast by the time everyone respawns. Oh, no, Chessie. He's going to get caught. The sleep is there. He does still have the bear. And, well, right now, the Queen of Pain, though, has shown up. And... With that, it is going to be a dead Chessy, unstoppable streak. That was so much damage, that Earth Splitter. And now there's a full BKB completed onto the Queen of Pain. Blink Dagger on this troll. And right now, Complexity are just getting outclassed. 15 to 1. Ame is so ridiculously farmed at this point in the game. This is just a walloping. It's 21,000 net worth lead at 26 minutes. Yeah, they... I don't They're know the last time really I saw 15 to 1. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Did you not watch EG? <laughs> <laughs> I casted that game. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a tough one. Um, smoke up now. LGD looking to continue the pain train. Complexity split push. If they can dodge this gank, again, those silver linings. Both teams idling around. They've placed their Tinker Ward. Have some very aggressive vision on the map right now as Complexity have the opposite idea. They've got one very defensive ward in their own jungle as the Stomp flies on through, but Complexity... They've got everybody there. Troll in the mid lane, able to find Chessie as well. There's going to be the BKB pop. The chase is there, and oh, the lone Druid is gone. 16 to 1. And Ame, Ame brazenly just walks up is not afraid of anything at this point. Chalice jumps forward, has the Chrono at this point, wants to expend it as Z-Freak steals the Time Walk, and that's going to reset things a little bit as the March of the Machines flies down. And even with the Aegis, LGD, very disciplined, going to reset. Nullifier Troll is going to be the next item. Just jump on top of somebody, completely dismantle them. And at this point, I mean, it's so hard for Complexity to get anything done at all. Yeah, look at Chalice's build, by the way. Uh, decides to completely sway away from going DPS. He's like, my team has this covered. I just need to build as much utility as I possibly can. Goes for the pipe right after. And now another attempt here. Oh, the Echo, Echo Slam. He's getting low. It. It's not enough, though, and the hook is not quite on the mark either. Oh, man. Echo down. The chase is there. Z Freak and that pipe coming into play. They get away. Would have been a huge kill onto maybe. They need any core kill that they can get at this point. Only one to have died, X Nova. And Someone's getting kicked. <laughs> oh no. Look at this though. They're just waiting. They know immediately and on top of them, Chessy. They didn't end up being able to stop that. Now the hook is well. Okay. Things may be looking a little bit better. Trying to take down that troll warlord. But instead, Mu, are they able to find this kill? Almost there. Ame is taking him down. They do burn through the Aegis. It's still not a kill. FY walking away, Mu chasing as well, but they realize they can't take him down. Second time, the blink forward, they found themselves one great PKP timing. They also have the Chronosphere that got him caught and gonna fall. It's all gonna part. Double kill for Ame, 19 to 1. Oh, time walk stolen and the bear being chased down. This is a complete and total domination going on right now. And Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they call it at any point in time. 
Yeah, it's 20 to 1. <laughs> the disrespect. Oh, get out. Get out of the game. That was the please exit. We're no longer playing the same game. It's 30k at 29 minutes. They haven't matched Liquid's pace where Liquid was up something like a kill a minute. But they are so far ahead at this point that, I mean, at this point it's not even... Yeah, no, I don't know I, what the... It's, it, there's, <laughs> what's your analysis of the situation, Blitz? <laughs> this is uh, a complete and total destruction going out. A smoke. Moo wants to hit him hard, wants to get him good. The hook is in. Kyle about to die. BKB out. And, well, he's going to get pummeled a few times. And this was impressive by LGD. Like, yeah. this was really impressive. That was GG well played call. Crowd loves it. Yeah. When they played them the first time, I thought that was a shellacking. But this was, oh, the man, that's, that's hard to recover from. Just, like, no emotion shown there from LGD. And, I, I mean, I guess the thing, too, is that it felt like one of those situations where they were going to have to play from behind from a while, just the, the nature of the draft. Yeah. But it wasn't meant to ever be getting that far out of hand. I mean, I think they expected that they had to have known that the lanes were going to be rough, right. setting them what they were. But I, there's no way that they thought it would be this bad. I they guess also it's different from the previous style that Complexity's played before. We touched yeah. on that. Maybe like a little bit not as comfort with playing this way. I think they need to they need to have better lanes against. Uh, I they need to have better lanes against LGD because LGD is yeah. way too good at punishing this kind of lane configuration. They're just like, well, we'll have all three lanes succeed. And in Dota nowadays, it's very hard to win when you lose three lanes like that. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know what else we can really say about that one. We're going to be back in a little bit for game number two. See what the panel thought. A real wrecking going on here in China. We'll be back in a bit. One, two, three.